unboxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Welcome to Boxing World Weekly's new show, Weekend Weigh-In. I am your host, Blair Pierce, and on this show, we'll be going over the main events, as well as giving you guys some information and odds on some fights that you might be sleeping on. But sticking with the main event for tonight, we have Savannah Marshall defending her WBO Welterweight Championship against Femp Hermans. The main card will begin at 8 p.m. British Summertime, 3 p.m. Eastern, airing live on Sky Sports. Be sure to like this video, and while you're already here, you might as well go down to the bottom right-hand corner and hit that subscribe button. Help us continue to grow. And if you're still not done with that, go ahead and check out Cole's notes, where he'll give his opinion and news on all the headline fights. Now let's quit wasting time and get right into this. Coming into the main event, the WBO middleweight champion Savannah Marshall is not only riding a seven fight win streak, it is a seven fight knockout streak and she'll be looking for knockout number eight as well as her third title defense. But the real story behind this fight is what could happen after. Savannah is bitter rivals with the two time Olympic gold medalist and current WBA, WBC, IBF and Ring Magazine middleweight champion, Clarissa Shields. However, Hermans went the distance with Shields back in 2018 for the middleweight championships, and they weren't exactly friendly with each other either. So if she can come away with this massive upset victory tonight, she'll set herself up for a rematch with Shields as well. Marshall will be the heavy favorite for this title match, coming in at minus 3,300 to Hermans plus 1,100. That fight will take place at around 10.30 British summertime, 5.30 Eastern. And if it was me making the decision on who to pick, I'm definitely going with the champ. There is no way she's gonna be losing this title match. And we are finally gonna get that dream match of Savannah Marshall taking on Clarissa Shields. Next up, the IBF International Welterweight Championship is on the line with Florian Marku defending his title against Chris Jenkins. Marco is coming into this fight with an undefeated record of 10 wins, no losses, and only one draw with six knockout wins, and will look to make a statement with tonight's matchup and move up the rankings in the IBF, where he is currently ranked at number 13. Jenkins is coming into this title fight with a 24, four and three record, as well as a decision win over Julius Indongo. Plus, Jenkins did this just seven months after having his ribs broken by Echo Asuman resulting in him losing his Commonwealth and British welterweight championships. And if you've even cracked a rib, you know how painful it is to breathe, let alone fight. And he did it just seven months later. That just shows how tough he really is. However, Marku is still a minus 45 favorite to Jenkins at plus 300. And I know that Jenkins still has the experience over Marku, but Marku is gonna be too much for him. I see him getting past this fight going on to bigger and better things and moving closer to that world title shot. Next up, we have middleweight prospect Bradley Ray taking on Lucas Dafaloma. The 24-year-old already feels that at 12-0 and five knockouts that he's the secret threat at middleweight. Those are some bold words to say when you have champions like Triple G, Jamal Charlo, Rilota Murata, and Demetrius Andre, but he's confident, so we'll see where the young kid can go. Ray is looking to put on an impressive performance tonight and hopefully challenge for the English, British, and Commonwealth Middleweight Championships later this year. Dafaloma is coming off his first knockout loss of his career, and at 36 years of age, he holds a record of 20 wins and four losses with 10 knockouts, but he is expected to be the massive underdog heading into tonight's matchup. I see Ray not finishing him, but I do see him getting a dominant, unanimous decision win and putting on the show for everybody tuned in to this matchup. Moving up a weight class, we have the super middleweights with Zach Chelly taking on Jack Kilgannon. Chelly actually became a supply teacher during the pandemic after receiving his degree in business management at Surrey University, but gave up the nine to five lifestyle in hopes of becoming rich through being a world champion in boxing. And although Chelly is coming off a year long layoff, he's coming off a third round knockout win over Bodon Harkavi and stands with a 10 one and one record. And that one loss is actually at light heavyweight. 
Kilgannon is stepping into this fight on just three days' notice to replace Diego Costa, who could not make the weight safely. Luckily for Kilgannon, he was actually training for a fight tonight, but decided that this opportunity was too big to pass up. But Kilgannon has only had one fight since July of 2019 and will be a plus 500 underdog to Chelios' minus 900, so keep that in mind if you guys do decide to throw some money down on this fight. Last but not least, we have the heavyweights. Nathan Gorman taking on Scott Alexander. Gorman holds a record of 18 and one with 12 knockouts, and that only loss came from Daniel Dubois, which left Gorman with a slight depression, and actually he would seek the help from his cousin, who just so happens to be the reigning WBC and Ring Magazine heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury. Fury's advice would be short and simple. Get back to boxing, and it really showed in his performance against Pavel Shore, where he knocked him down five times to get the knockout win. Keep in mind, ever since Gorman lost, he has increased his weight from 256 to 273. And you absolutely know he got that advice from Tyson Fury, who's coming in at his heaviest when he takes on Dylan White for his heavyweight championships. Alexander is coming off a unanimous decision loss to Carlos Negron and holds a record of 16 wins, four losses, and two draws with eight knockouts. That's all the time we have, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to get all the news, predictions, and updates on all things boxing. I'll see you all next week on another edition of Weekend Weigh In. For all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications.